Herkese merhaba ben Sude. Bugün e, GTA e, 3 ile beraberiz. E, düşündüm ne oynasam ne oynasam diye. Buldum en sonunda o kadar kafa yorduktan sonra. GTA 3. Ben de GTA 3'ün olduğunu unuttum. Hadi bari oynayayım dedim. Hani izleyene göre de devam ederim. E, ya da etmem bilmiyorum. Size bağlı. Ondan sonra... Hatta bu arada oyun öneriniz varsa benim tabii ki de bilgisayarımın kaldırabileceği bir oyun. Çünkü benim bilgisayarım bildiğiniz üzere gerizekalı bir bilgisayar. Çağdan kalma bir bilgisayar. Bu arada oyun e, Türkçe'ye çevrilmiş. Yamasını indirdim. Burada daha önce oynadıklarım var falan. Bir dakika. İlk önce şu... Müzik dinlemeyeceğiz. Neyse tamam. Ee, e, no problem o. <gülüyor> Burada da değiştirebiliriz. Ee, ben bunu oynuyordum. Çok yakışıklı değil mi? Bıyıklar çok yakışmış. Ama buna alışık olduğum için galiba bunu oynayacağım. Bilmiyorum. Yine değiştirebilirim. En çok hangisini beğendiniz? Şöyle bir dönsün. Bir de bu var. Ben bunu beğeniyorum ama buna alışayım. O yüzden bunu oynayacağım. Evet şimdi yeni oyunumuza başlıyoruz. Ee, kısa videoları geçmeyeceğim. Hani izleyin falan görün. Hani Türkçe bir de alt yazı geçiyor ya. Yani o yüzden zevkli olur diye düşünüyorum. Hay başlayalım. Yüklensin şu da. Evet. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarter databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Senor Dickhead, it's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost.
I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low, but my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. Place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. April's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Oldu canım. Tabii ya. Ne kadar çok istersen. İstediğim şeyi duyamadım. Dur. Nerede? Bilmiyorum. Başka eskiden. Tamam. Seçenek. Ses. Tamam. Be. Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. 
There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guys have been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. Talk to you. All right, Mick. I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. 
Oğlum sana bir gözüm müftede olur, bir gözüm de yolda olur yani. İki gözüm var. Bu adamın nedense çok gıcık bir tipi var sevmiyorum. Joey! Joey! Am I gonna get to play with you big hands again? I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? A moment, sweetheart. I got a little business to take care of. I got a little job for you, pal. The Ferrelli brothers have owed me money for too long and they need to be taught some respect. Lips Ferrelli is stuffing his fat face in the St. Mark's Bistro, so steal his car and take it to Eight Ball's bomb shop up in Harwood. You know Eight Ball, right? Once he's fitted it with a bomb, go park the car where you found it. Then sit back and watch the whole show. But hurry up, he won't be eating forever.